Okay, so let's have a quick conversation about the balancing act of salinity. Now, this particular aquarium has been going for a very long time, and it has not had any new fish. What you say? Eight yeah. months. Yeah, eight months. About eight months since a single fish was added to this tank. Now, over a period of time, the salinity has crept up to 0.028. Now, at 0.028, the fish are obviously using too much of their energy on their osmoregulation system, and therefore they have suffered with their immune system. It is my experience that when the fish get to 0.029, even 0.030, they can die from salinity alone. But usually what will happen is the osmoregulation system has to work too hard, and then the fish end up getting white spot. If you get up to the higher levels, they can die just purely from increased exposure to salt. Now, with a tank like this, now that the salinity has crept up to 0.028, I'd be trying to drop the salinity about two degrees, two or three a day, until I get the salinity down to 0.020. I would then want to start seeing improvements in my fish, which pretty much I always will providing I've got good oxygen levels, providing my pH is good. I do not want to run a pH below 8, otherwise you get acidic problems, which is another whole kettle of fish. So providing my water quality is good, I will drop my salinity down to 0.020. Once I see my fish slowly improving, I will slowly tend to raise my salinity again. Even if they've got white spot, as long as they're looking better... I'll tend to slowly raise my salinity again because if I run the salinity at 0.020 for an extended period of time, I may then start to lose some coral. The worst thing you can do is have an issue because your salt level's too high, drop it too low and then forget about it and then you have an issue because your salt level's too low because you're going to lose your fish when the salt level's too high and you're going to lose your corals when your salt level's too low. So it's absolutely a balancing act. So I would get it down from the high salinity slowly a little bit per day. So I'd just say change a little bit of water, see what salinity that gets me to. The next day, change a little bit of water, see what that salinity gets me to. Um, change the water according to what the salt level I see going down. And as long as the salinity is going down, I find the white spot just slowly gets better and better and better. If I get to the point where I think the fish are actually going to die... If they're freaking out, if they're breathing really heavily, if they're um, scratching themselves constantly, then I'll try and put them in a quarantine tank in which I can use proper medications in the quarantine tank. So once I've got the salinity down to 0.020, and once I start seeing improvements in the fish, I'll start slowly raising the salinity. And then generally if I see the tank sitting about 0.022, 0.023, I normally won't lose coral at all. If I run it at 0.020 for too long, maybe I'm going to start losing some coral. So it depends on the coral. So you can start, if at 0.020, maybe a week, two weeks, and you're probably going to start losing SPS. Um, some of your softies are going to last a lot longer. But there's obviously other factors too because... There really, it really isn't the case where, oh, okay, one week and you start losing that, two weeks and you start losing that. Because oxygen is a variance, your pH is a variance, your redox potential seems to be a variance, the amount of energy the coral had in the first place seems to be a variance. So anyway, put a little note on the bottom of this video. Um, what salinity have you dropped your tank to? And what corals did you find that you lost? So once again, it is my experience that I can get it down to 0.020 and then I can slowly start raising it in and I don't lose any coral. If I start going below 0.020, I can start losing coral, particularly SPS first. And then my plan is to slowly raise the salinity once I start seeing improvements in the fish. And then at 0.022, I normally don't really lose any coral at all. So once again... In a perfect world, I'll run a salinity of 0 0.024, 0 0.025 for a healthy reef tank where everyone's happy. If the salinity creeps up too high, I have issues with my fish. If the salinity creeps too low, I tend to have issues with my um, corals. So anyway, put a little note on the bottom of this video and let us know what experience have you had and what corals did you find you lost first? Um, what salinity did you um, start having issues at and with what? 
So did you start losing fish? What was the salinity? Did you start losing corals? What was the salinity? Let us know what you think.